Okay. Uh, how about this Yahoo database? Yeah, this one was sent in by Rebecca Usich. You kit. I'm going to say Usage. Thank you, Rebecca. It's by Yahoo Answers user. Sorry, something's gone wrong. Uh, let's call them Carly G, because that's lower on the list. Thank you, Car uh, thank you for your bravery. Um, Carly G <laughs> asks, Chicken soup for boys? I was wondering if there were any chicken soup books aimed at boys for teens. Oh, I thought you meant like literal specials. Soup. Yeah, Mama's. Mama's I had a whole like a Mama's joke. Chicken, Mama's exquisite soup recipe. Chicken soup just filled with like Hot Wheel cars. <laughs> I had a whole joke that instead of chicken and noodles, it was chicken and doodles. All right, but all like, right. Yeah, I'm gonna take that to Shark Tank and see if sir, I can get some, any sir, investors. For for my money, it seems like boys, uh -huh. boy teens. Boy teens. Boy teens are why other people need those fucking chicken soup books. <laughs> <laughs> teen boys, teen boys create the chicken soup market. Please help me, book. I've dealt with boy, boy teens all fucking day. So my, yeah, the, my his, the boy teens are like the common cold that has necessitated the soup. As a as a as a publisher or author of the chicken soup books, um, which I don't know if those books have authors or if they just like take a bunch of shit out of Reader's Digest and then they get somebody to chop and screw it. I always I, assumed I, they were the first tentative experiments of a rogue AI. Okay, yeah. Right, that's I awesome. always just assumed they had one and then they just like control F, searched all, replace pronouns and like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. just like, well, let's let's change that to a he and done. Because you would think my chicken soup for boys would be like, don't put your fucking finger up there like don't snip don't scratch and don't tug on that don't fucking just fucking stop but the thing is that book's too effective the whole chicken soup for blank economy is gonna just collapse around me you know the chicken soup for the boy teen soul could just be one page with one sentence and it just says put it away you put it the fuck away dog and that could apply no. to every situation i was a boy teen put it away just put that away just put it away Physically, Whether that means your attitude or your wiener. Mentally, put it away. spiritually, put that thing away. Put I it feel away. like that's such a powerful concept, Travis. I feel like we could start, uh, we could incorporate that into more of our, just put it away. Put it away. Just don't Do anymore. I just want to know a quick, very true thing. Uh, yes. I'm going to guess just based on sort of your whole role here in the organization that you have Googled the chicken soup series and you have uh, an interesting factoid about maybe the number of books that there are in this series. No, not about that. It's about the chicken soup for the soul brand large breed adult dog food. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Because food is more than just nutrition. It's also about comfort, love, and appreciation. Here's a fucking dog food with the chicken soup for the soul brand on it. Chicken soup for the soul brand dog food. You can't do that. You can't have two different <laughs> food stuff no. in the name of a product. It can't be like... What's up? This is Hamburger Helper's Kid Wine. What? <laughs> yeah, it's wine for kids, but it's made by Hamburger Helper. What? I they're just somewhere off. there was a board meeting or some kind of product pitch meeting where someone went, "Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, all right. sure." Cuz I like I'm like digging deep in Amazon and there's some like really really good chicken soup for the soul books yeah they're like very very much into but the weird thing about the dog food is that you would think there would be some sort of uh in between licensing uh -huh. that got them to that point but no as near as i can figure they like made every book and they had a meeting they're like anybody come up with any other books uh what about chicken soup for the prisoner soul nope we did that one already what about um, Chicken Soup for the Soul, A Book of Miracles? Uh, nope, it exists. What about Chicken Soup for the Soul? I can't believe my dog did that. Nope, exists. Who is that book for? Um, okay, have we stopped on making these for a specific audience? They're getting, like, super duper specific. What, what haven't we done, guys? Uh, fucking... yeah, chicken Soup for Travis Patrick McElroy Soul, yeah. which I we... don't own. Maybe, uh, what if we did dog food? Okay, <laughs> right? sure. Sure. Have we done? Have we done napkins? There's a there is a game. There's a chicken soup for the game, and I bet it's it, fucking no, 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 fun no. and shit. No, 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 no. It's not called chicken soup for the game, is it? 
<laughs> no, it's called Chicken Soup for the Soul. Count your blessings. The game. Okay. With an attitude of gratitude. If it was from the number one best selling series, as if there was any fucking doubt. I thought it was Chicken Soup for the game, all about like how to seduce women. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I part of me is dis- mystery presents, mystery presents <laughs> chicken soup for the game. I'm disappointed to learn uh, that it's not called chicken soup for the game because if they started to follow that naming convention, they could literally sell anything like chip and chicken soup for the bowling ball. It's a line of high quality bowling balls. What's it have to do with chicken soup? Fuck you. Is the chicken soup for the soul brand dog food chicken soup flavored? I think it's just the books that nobody buys. Like, oh, nobody really bought chicken soup for the boy grandpa. So let's um, <laughs> let's just chunk those up and make some puppies eat them. This is our hey new guys. product, chicken soup for the hamster cage. Hey, guys. Yeah, dude. Can I have to shoot a quick review? Yeah, yeah. Hit me. Chicken soup for the soul board game. Yeah, I would love this to. This one comes to us from Seattle Mist. We thought this game sounded like good, wholesome fun, Uh-oh. but it constantly references pop culture, which is annoying. There are lots of people who pay little or no attention to that kind of thing. So unless you're really hip, in quotes, on all the current fads, celebrities, and lifestyles, you want to pass on this game. We will tweak the questions before to suit our family, but it took a lot of tweaking, and now it sits on the shelf. Okay, hey, hey, who wants to come over and play Grandma and Pete Pop's fucking bootleg <laughs> chicken soup for the soul? Too rowdy XXX edition with no references to pop culture. What's, what's Grandma's favorite book? Uh, the Notebook? No, no pop culture. It's the Bible. Idiot. Um, it says the idea of it's. Uh, they're talking about it's a shame because it could be a great game. <laughs> the idea of looking on the bright side of things is great. That's why we bought the game. <laughs> One of our sons tends to be an Eeyore. Well, yeah, he's got parents making bootleg chicken soup for the soul poor games. I'd say he has reason to be depressed. <laughs> Dear parents, like- might I watch anything, even PBS? I'll take three, two, one, contact it this way. No, we're gonna play yeah. chicken soup for the soul. Our edition. Again again but there's only three questions and all of them are why are you sad listen we tried to play that chicken soup for the soul board game it was so worldly and very secular it was a very secular worldly game uh and we had to make our own bootleg version of it uh- <laughs> we're proud to present a new line of products called potato soup for your for your spirit it's a whole new thing different from that other Let's call it what it, what it is. Shit. <laughs> what are you, firefighter? Don't read that chicken soup book. It's full of shit. <laughs> potato soup for spirits, what the doctor calls for. We don't reference anything in potato soup for the spirit. <laughs> Except potato soup, which is referenced quite a bit. Stay made dog food before chicken soup yeah like like well what are they fucking gonna call it justin chicken soup for the chicken soup for the soul chicken soup for the tummy <laughs> <laughs> well what if the chicken okay i gotta say <laughs> i gotta chicken say soup for the tummy soul like what if you does my tummy have a soul if you've been making a line of books and products and dog food and bowling balls for like 200 years <laughs> called chicken soup for the boy grandpa and then you release chicken soup, and it's not the best fucking chicken soup that's ever right. slipped betwixt these lips. <laughs> like, I I think it probably discredits the rest of your pro. Like, I eat that soup, and it's just okay. And I think, like, well, maybe I don't need to know what this book says about my firefighter soul. Uh, it turns out they don't know shit about chicken soup. <laughs> yeah, they don't have any idea. They, what have it. they don't know what's fucking good for me. Um, It's all carrots. What? <laughs> this is just a can of carrots. Do you think, is there a law preventing me from reading chicken soup for the firefighter's soul or chicken soup for the grandma's soul? Groups that I will never, I'm I'm more likely to become a grandma than a firefighter, but like, am I allowed to read the books not designed for me or is there some sort of security like eye scan or RFID? You're allowed to read it. But they're just full of so much slang and jargon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they've got... Firefighters have, like, 18 different words for, like, the embers that land on your nose. But no word for snow. But no word for snow. Hmm. (laughs) Kind of weird. Think about it. And the grandma one is just, like, a lot of, like, 
long since retired racist words for mm-hmm. um really well any race the whole rainbow of races the whole spectrum 